This is Damon Stevens with Dental Builders. Today is May 15, 2022, and this is Stock Market Prep for Monday. Uh, we, this is a time for us to look at what the market's done and where it may be heading this week and what opportunities we have in before. So definitely join us and uh, watch this video to the end, and that way hopefully you can find some uh, great ideas. Uh, if you don't have any that you're trading right now, or if you're looking for a group to join us, please join us uh, at uh, finwealthlive.com. There you'll find a link to a free Discord service as well as uh, a free training out there. So definitely uh, take advantage of those opportunities. Um, but in the meantime, let's get right into it. Take a look at the market. We had six weeks down and Friday was a nice, nice little rally day. Uh, so, you know, after six weeks of down, uh, it was it was due to at least have some type of pop. Uh, whether that's temporary, temporary or if we're going to get a few days, hard to say, but we are in a downtrend right now. So that's the thing to keep in mind is, you know, the momentum is still down in direction, even though we may get a temporary relief here, possibly. So let's take a look at what's going on, see how the market closed out. Again, this is uh, just for informational purposes. We're not financial advisors. Um, so just make sure you're trading responsibly that the trades are yours. So we're looking at the market. Uh, so great Friday, Dow Jones closed up 1.47%, NASDAQ up 3.82%, and S&P 500 up 2.39%. You see from our heat map here, just some nice green. So money flew back, came back into the market um, off the streets. And uh, so that uh, did very well for the nice little rally. Really the only area that really kind of got hit hard was healthcare. But otherwise, the rest of the market you can see it did very well. On our scanners, you see some that were kind of high, but you know, like this P Pixie. You know, it went up 154%, but, you know, penny stock, it's like, you know, under a dollar. So typically, you know, I like to see things at least close to $5 um, to trade them. Uh, otherwise, you know, just a, a difficult trade and it can move on you. So we did not trade uh, anything on the small caps, uh, but definitely uh, this scanner is definitely free for use. And, uh, you know, it's a great, uh, great opportunity to uh, find what's going on. Uh, looking at our uh, fear index, you see, Extreme fear is in the market. So retailers are still very afraid of the market right now. Uh, and typically, you know, that provides us some great opportunities, at least for a trader, not for investor necessarily, because investors are looking long-term. So they're making long-term purchases, which right now there's some great bargains out there. I mean, some of these stocks is, are down so far. Uh, there are definitely some bargains to pick up there. Um, but as far as, you know, traders, uh, we, we love volatility because we're trading both sides of the market. If the, the market's fearful and the market's going down, uh, we can trade that. If the market's coming back up, we trade that. So great opportunities here. So definitely take advantage of that uh, with us if you aren't already. Uh, looking at Max Payne. So this is a way just to measure, you know, kind of the options trading and seeing how, you know, who's purchasing puts and, and uh, calls and kind of how is that affecting, you know, possibly where they close out. And there's a thing where the market really doesn't want to give you know, money back uh, to the traders that are out there. And so it looks, you know, possibly to close around the ranges that create the most pain. So you see right now, the max pain was around the $400 mark. Uh, and we close out the market this 401.61. So right here, that was the max pain. So everybody who was short in the market, uh, you know, obviously experienced pain, especially if they bought down these levels. Everybody who bought calls for the market to go up um, above that $4, uh, obviously they received pain as well. So, you know, where do we go this week? Uh, we'll be updating this chart um, on a daily basis with uh, for you. So we can show you kind of where it's at, but uh, definitely uh, the market, you know, really kind of shut out all these. You can see how many uh, people are shorting the market, thinking it's going to go way down here, you know, 379 area. Uh, you, you see it was the strongest area. And obviously the market closed up uh, with a nice little rally on Friday to shut out all these people who are shorting the market. Uh, so, you know, unfortunately for them, they lost a lot of money. People were expecting to, you know, make a lot of money. Uh, also up here in these areas, obviously did not make their money. So uh, that's kind of just a little area. This is just a nice little chart to give you an idea how the market possibly will close out for the week. It's not, you know, perfect, but it just gives us a general idea as far as at least where people are expecting the market to go and, you know, where the max pain is going to be if the market wants to shut everybody out. So let's uh, look at the SPY, just so you can kind of see where the SPY was um, off this rally here. So max pay was just $400. See, and we were down here at this 385 area, which would have been great for those people who were down in those uh, puts. And, you know, Friday, just a nice little rally right back up to that 400 level. Um, so, you know, market does a great job trying to shut those people out and did a just landed right on that max pain area. 
And we get a kind of nice little bump off also off the, the bottom here. So you have this low at 3, 350 was kind of where our support line didn't quite hit our support line that I had on here on the chart, but it came, you know, pretty dang close before, you know, bouncing off Thursday and, and Friday rallying back up. So where do we go next? Uh, you know, you see our resistance line up here, 410. You see 41064. That's kind of where that line's coming from. So I can see us possibly going up here and bouncing off of that. And you know, I'm covering a little bit early on the on the spy, but just wanted to kind of drive this point home. Uh, so 410 might be an area of resistance coming up here. We could bounce off that and come right back down to lows again. Uh, or we could possibly you know get to the 20 here at 415, or maybe up to this 420 area. This was another pivot here at 42076. So these are kind of the points of interest that I have that could possibly create you know, more downward uh, momentum here. Because you can see the spy has just been kind of curling up and then back down, and curling up, back down, curling up, back down, curling up, back down. So you know we're in this downward trend. And until that changes, we can expect that we're you know still going to see lower lows here possibly. Uh, and you see here that every time we blow through that 20 moving average or the moving averages, it comes back down, came back up to the 20 again, back down. So, you know, it's possible we can come back to the 20 here again and back down. If we can get above the 20 day moving average and stay above there for a few days, then I'll be more bullish and think that maybe we can run. But until we get up there, you know, my the, the bias is still on the downside. Uh, but I will take advantage of any ride back up here towards the 20 because that seems like it's a good check in area. You know, for stocks, you can see right here to 20, 20 here in these areas here back in February as well. So that 20 move average is a good place for a bounce back down if you're in a downward momentum. Uh, and so as we are, I'm looking for a possibly rally up to that 20 and then pot and maybe through it a little bit possibly and then back down again. Uh, but if we can hold there again for a few, a few days, maybe we can get a rally going back on. Uh, so just something to be aware of what I'll be looking for trades going forward. At earnings, uh, we have Walmart and Home Depot on Tuesday, Target, Cisco, um, Lowe's on Wednesday. Those are the ones I'll be watching. Monday, nothing really. Thursday, Friday, you can see there's nothing on, the, on this calendar here. So this we'll be looking at some earning plays here as well. So this, those will be some great uh, scalping opportunities or day trades possibly uh, in these areas on Tuesday and Wednesday of this week. Looking at the, our core stocks, the ones that we uh, publish on at least our free Discord uh, server and um, with levels as far as where to buy. And we also, we also post uh, on our live one as well. But you see here this upward trend line that we have. We broke through that on Apple. Came down here. This is 137.69 is where I was looking for support. Came down just shy of it, bounced off of it on Thursday. And then Friday, we kind of rallied back up here um, past this other trend line to this 143.89. Uh, and so right now, my next lines in the sand is this uh, 149.88, you know, and then you see that, and then 156, possibly for a rally back up to this bottom of this trend line where we start on this trend line up here. So those are my areas of resistance. So if we do rally up on Apple, looking for resistance around 150, if I we break candles and hold above 150, then looking up possibly going back up to our lower trend line here, and then finding resistance there as well, and that would be at the 20. And we talked about that just here, just a little bit ago. Really kind of a little quick training for you um, is, you know, this 20 could be resistance as well, any of the 200. So looking, you know, Apple to probably rally up there. Um, if it does not, if it breaks back below 144, you know, we could be come back down to these levels here or lower. Tesla. Uh, so we're also downward trending. You can see here. Every time we come up and bounce above off this uh, trend line here, we go back down again. Uh, you can see here that we found support, you know, 700. We talked about this on the video a while ago. 700 should be a good support or 800. We broke the 800 level, which means 700 would be the next level. You can see we broke just below it, the 680 level, and then bounced back up and rallied back, you know, through Friday, back up to the 760 area, which is, you know, this is where we're kind of looking at 756. 764 area so that's kind of where we get a little bit of a range of support so we're there right now we, again we got to get back above 800 and rally back up here the 20 if we are rallying to the 20 868 would be the area of resistance uh, and you also have all the moving averages here curling down towards that area as well so that should be resistance um, so look at support there if we break below 756 look for a play possibly back down to 648 nvidia 
So NVIDIA, you can see here we had um, this big band of support. That's where I figured we'd possibly go into once we broke the 100. So I was expecting us to come down maybe to this 141 area. Um, we came down to 150, uh, which was just kind of above here where this little breakout area was. That's kind of where we broke up. We closed above this support line here, which you can see here, this is kind of where uh, we bounced on a breakout. Res resistance came in, play, we stopped, and then we kind of rallied from there. So. This little zone area is kind of where we're at. Uh, you just, we spent a few days here. So if we can get above this 180, you know, 188 level, maybe we can rally up towards the 20 and the 50, which are coming together. Uh, if not, if we break back down, then we could obviously come back down and revisit that 141 area, which was a huge area of consolidation in the past year, as you can see on the chart. Facebook, this is on a weekly chart. Um, so just looking, looking on a weekly chart to see kind of where we could possibly find support. You see here, it looks like we kind of put a double bottom in and then came back down and almost hit a triple bottom and bounced up. So it was very weak on Facebook. Um, so hitting that, you know, several times very well, we could break down. So if we get below 197, you know, look for a continuation play here down to, you know, towards, you know, maybe this, you know, 160 area or 170 area would be, you know, the next level down. But, you know, we really got to get back above, you know, these levels and back above the 20 and the 200 here, which are all curling down. Um, so if we get back up, look for a rally, maybe up to 234 and get some resistance here around that 20 uh, this week. Uh, if not, we may kind of just sit in this little zone here, really between the, you know, 200 range, 2 to 220. So um, Facebook, not really a strong trade for me this week. I will see what happens, so it could change, but right now it's not looking uh, healthy for me as far as a trade is concerned. Amazon came down here, 235 was the bottom of this area right here. You see we came down here to 228. So just right below this area, which you can see, that was a good breakout area, and we bounced right off of there. So looking for us to get back above this 223.78, possibly to rally back up, that's kind of where we kind of consolidated and broke up from this area. Um, if not, you know, and we come back here, if we break 230, this 2035 area, then looking for a play back down here more towards, you know, maybe even like 1800, 1600. Um, so just try and watch it, Amazon. Um, Amazon has some big moves, really big candles. So we'll see what happens. But right now, looks like we put this big, we have this big old wick here, which, you know, as long as you can get break above this area, then maybe we can, you know, rally off of it, you know, this 2378 area. RK, this came back on my radar. Uh, I was looking at a monthly chart here because I know this, I, I think if the market, you know, does kick into gear, I'm still watching for the market to really kind of turn it around. The market turns around, RK could be a really strong play. It's just been beaten down. It just really, I mean, they not impressed with the portfolio right now and what, what the performance has been. Um, but, you know, could it turn around? It's been a, a strong one in the past um, and heavily tech, heavy, heavy bi biotech. Um, but, you know, we're right, we got right down to this zone and uh, we got a little bit of a bounce once we broke the load a little bit. So just looking to see, you know, do we hold this here? Do we bounce off? Um, I, we really got to see the market to recover here to, to really jump in on this one. But I'm watching this one. So this is a monthly chart. You can see here how long we consolidate right where we're at right now. So hopefully we don't break below that. Um, if we do play break below 32, you know, it's off the radar because, you know, we could be really coming down low on the stock. But um, right now, uh, this is, you know, just I'm just eyeing this again just because it came into a critical support zone. So possibly a good area to buy it and bounce. Um, so I'll be keeping that on my radar here as we move forward. Now, again, if you haven't subscribed to, to Fimbo Live, please do so and like our video if this is helpful for you, uh, as well as join our Discord. Uh, and you find that link uh, below in our video. But uh, definitely uh, take advantage of this, uh, this tool and, and the training that we have out there. We continue our yield. Um, so we pull back here. We're sitting right, you know, right on the 20. So you know, this definitely could be an area of just consolidation right now. If we break below, you know, then you could be coming back down here towards this uh, 261 area. Um, but yeah, we're off the highs right now. And we kind of broke, we're kind of just kind of traveling up here and we're kind of just at a resting point right now on the, the 10 year yields. Dollar though, dollars just continues to elevate, hitting a new high. So 
104.53, that was higher than we were back in June and February. I mean, we haven't been really at this level since, since here, if you look back down here. Uh, this is January, December 2002, January 2003 is where we're at. So it's been a long time since we've been to these highs uh, and it just continues to rocket up here. So looking forward, you know, possibly to play up here in this, you know, around dollar seven, dollar eight area. So we'll see you know, what that brings. Um, but definitely the elevated dollar means that uh, money's not traveling, um, definitely traveling into other areas. So looking for that dollar to come back down. Looking at the VIX here, you can see VIX finally pull back down. It hit actually right on our support line here at 28.79. So looking for it to break down here and hopefully if it does, we can come down to 24.74. And that would help us to rally in this market and to see the market continue to, to go up. If we do bounce off this area back above the 20 moving average, uh, back towards, you know, 37, 38, uh, then expect, you know, we're gonna see new lows again. Uh, and we just, you can see, we're just kind of chopping through this area here, but right now we are below the 20 day. And so uh, just a matter of uh, looking at pre-market and see what kind of the market opens up this week and see if we're gonna, you know, continue to break down on the VIX. So it's something to keep an eye on. Looking at the SPY, you see here that we broke below the, the 50 moving average uh, and just see, you have this big tail candle here. Typically, a lot of times if you see a big tail candle, that does mean you're going to pop back up, but lately it has not. Um, you'll see one day that you have a big wick uh, on the bull side and then the next day it's on the bear side. Uh, and we're definitely on a downtrend, as you can see, this on a weekly. So I'm going to pop back here uh, daily. And again, you can see here, you know, for, for weeks here, we've just been traveling down. So we had little pops that we've had in the past, or little bounces. But again, what have we done? We've continued to travel down. So you can see here also bouncing off that 20. That's what we did here back, you know, um, on May 5th and pulled down. And so it's very likely to come rally up, like we talked about early in this video, uh, and bounce off that 20 and come back down again. So just be aware of that. Same with the triple Qs. Triple Qs. Nice little bounces off the 20 day moving average. Uh, we did extend down, uh, found some support, bounced off, rallied up here. So maybe we come up here towards this 315 area. And if we hit bounce off that 20 again, which is downward trending, uh, you know, we'd come back down again from there. So look for some um, resistance here around 315 area for possibly bounce back down. So, you know, does this take a one day, two day? Do we go flat from here? It's hard to say. We got to watch the, the price action as the market opens up. But uh, definitely got, you know, we definitely have resistance up at that 20, as you can see in the past. Semiconductors came up almost tight the 20. You can see here that, again, the 20 has been a big area of resistance. So, you know, but as we get farther away from it, you get this little, little rally to come back and check back in on the 20 um, and then uh, and then fell again. So we're almost there on semiconductors. So definitely watch it. Definitely have resistance here. You know, this 232. Um, uh, area 234 areas are going to be areas of resistance. If we break back down, expect that you know we may see new lows. IWM, same thing. We're rallying back up. Here's the 20 at 178 or 185 would be the areas that we getting resistance again. So just watching this right now to see if we can continue to break above the current level here where we're at. You know, we have about from 178 to 185, you have maybe seven dollars on a pretty good price stock so um, definitely could provide some good opportunity there at least on the short term uh, on the, the financials xlf uh, you can see here nice little bounce but kind of flat kind of really weak you know the 20s you know up there around 35 dollars so you know do we you know we had a dollar and a half here on the financials possibly to, to rally up for hit resistance again and you can see the 20 continues to be resistance xlv so we can see, you know, it's a nice little bounce off again. We have the, the 200 day at 130, 130, 50, and the 20 at 131. So those will be the areas that we'd find resistance again. Um, and, uh, you know, so look for a rally possibly, you know, maybe we get this tomorrow or maybe even through Tuesday. Um, but um, do we break above the 20 day moving averages across the board? As you can see, uh, I don't expect us to kind of get it in a, in a rally mode here yet. XLE, so energy, you can see, you know, just kind of chopping back and forth here. 
did, did find support on Thursday off of the 50 day moving average rallied up here back towards the highs. If we break the, this 181.50 area, maybe it'll take, go towards um, back up to uh, trying to make a, a, another high here, maybe around $84. But we do get it, need to get above that uh, 81.50 area. If we break back down below 79.50, then you know we would probably come back and revisit that 50-day moving average, which you see we've hit several times. Gold continues to be weak. We're right kind of, if you look over here, back in the January area, we're kind of right back in this zone right here. And you see that this lasted uh, quite a bit of time here. We just kind of sat here in this zone. So as gold coming into the support area, as long as it stays above 1780, uh, and between uh, this 1831 uh, area, we will be kind of in this chop zone. So I'm not, I don't know where gold's going to rally here anytime soon or break down, um, but I can definitely see it sitting in this area here. Bitcoin uh, came down, tagged the 200, bounced off of it. So, um, you know, that's good that we found support down that 2600 area, which we talked about breaking this 20, which we did break it. Um, so we'll see if we can get back above 30, 33,000, we may be able to ride back up at least into this zone here, uh, which has been, you know, support and resistance here. Um, a lot of time in this area. So we'll see if we can bounce off there, but at least we got an at least initial bounce and a little rally here going off of Bitcoin. So closing out the weekend, um, good on Bitcoin. I, I wasn't quite sure um, if we we're going to get a bounce there or not. It was definitely looking negative for the weekend. Um, but it looks like uh, we got a little bit of bounce, so that's good. Ethereum, same thing, almost down to the 200 we talked about last week. A little bounce off rally up here. Got to get you know above this you know 23, um, 2336 area if we want to kind of rally back up towards that 20 day moving average. Maybe check in there. But again, Ethereum, all the Bitcoin, crypto is all still very weak at this point. So just be careful you're trading out there. Uh, so that's our stocks, our cryptos. Um, you know what we're looking for levels this week. Uh, definitely be careful out there because the market, if it hits those resistance areas um, and they bounce hard off those, we could come down to new lows again, and it'll, it'll probably be very rapid. So just be careful out there. If we can break above them for a couple of days this week, we could have a really great week setting up here as well for those who are bullish. Um, so let's uh, see what the market brings us. Stay safe out there. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We'll talk Monday night, see how your trades went for the day, talk about what our trades were, and uh, see what, uh, what our plan is going to be for Tuesday. Everybody have a great night.